Echoes of the Dark. Hello and welcome to Orlando Play Short in your horror game. Today I'm going to play a game by Destronix. That sounds like an Asterix and Obelix name. Anyways, <laughs> um, this is part of the Brackies Game Jam 2023. Um, if you don't know, this is a game jam, I think, for adventure games. I have quite a few on my list, but because um, they're usually a bit longer, I will space them out a little bit. This seems to be super short. And also, it will play at one of my favorite horror game locations, the gas station. It was a dark and stormy night when Jenny got stuck at her workplace, which is a gas station. In the darkness of an empty gas station, her worst nightmares come to life and she has to relive her traumatic past, diving deeper into memories to find the answer to the question, why is she afraid of the cold, dark waters? And apparently, at least based on the video, in the comments it's a couple of minutes long we'll see whether that is really true because man that's a short time to pack such a huge story in it so we'll see also this is a browser game so i hope um the audio and everything works fine with this who am i what am i doing here do i click yes no don't step on it crack oh so it's a little graphic novel I need to check this out. She hears some some whispering. Okay. Uh, yes. Press W A S D um, to illuminate space around. Press space to interact with memories. Have a good dive and deep into yourself. Oh, okay. Attention all listeners, a heavy rain alert is in effect. Dangerous conditions pose risks including flooding and reduced visibility. Now that everyone to stay inside. Remain indoors, Shit. avoid unnecessary travel, and stay tuned to official radio, TV, or social media updates. Keep windows and doors closed and stay away from low-lying areas. Shit, I have to reload again because she was talking over it and that took a very long time and now the radio is gone. Also, I'm shooting light. What? Okay. They ordered everyone to stay inside. Shit. I should have gone sooner. But I can't say no. Jenny, honey, would you work extra hours? And now I'm locked inside. Night. With a storm raging. Anyway, it's my fault. I've studied better. It's so dark. My mind is playing tricks on me. And there's shadows everywhere. Just a light illuminates shelves and magazines. I need to calm down. It's just a thunderstorm. It's just rain. It just... I've always feared the dark. As long as I can remember. But why? Why am I so scared now? Why are some of the words clipped? That's super weird. Okay, so I... Blam! I... Th okay. I mean, I technically cannot, can't see a little bit. And so, do I step on them? No, I don't. It's light enough for me to see, so I don't really... What? Am I throwing these bugs? Is that it? Huh. No, I'm just throwing the light. That bug. Oh, ew. Ew, no. Ooh. Okay. Did it hurt, hit me? Because honestly, it didn't really hit me. I was pretty far away from it. So what's that? What's that about? So just go in a different direction. What a weird little game. So you should not go in that direction, I guess. That works, so I should not light them up? I don't, so the light hurts me. Um, 
So why would I use it if it if it makes the monsters aggressive? Oh, because it's getting very dark. Hey! Oh! It's shooting! Oh, that's why it hit me. And it doesn't stop. Oh! Yeah, but uh, I don't want to... Oh, that is... That feels like incredibly punishing gameplay. If it immediately shoots you when you work with light. Because I don't know that I'm being shot at until I see it and then it's too late. And you would need... Okay. Uh. Feels like the light is detrimental to my survival. Look! Yeah, I will put that gamma high uh, when I edit this for you. It's very dark. It was okay at the beginning, but now it's very dark. But using uh using the light is oh ew ew no no ew gross no leave me alone no oh shit oh god <laughs> so in that it in that instant it helped me get rid of the oh my god I have never witnessed such a terrible storm. Have you, Frank? But good news, listeners, it's finally over. But good news, listeners, it's finally over. Um, isn't that the... Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Huh. It's finally over, but... Yeah, I'm still fucked, so that didn't help me. So I have to go back now? No. Kind of like the idea. But the gameplay, um, not... I don't know. It feels very punishing. What is that? Can I interact with this? Oh, no! Don't do this. Oh, that's all my... No! Oh my god, no. Stop it. You stop it. Should I go back? I think I'm going back currently to where I was before. I figured I have to go back, but why would I have to go back? No, there's pro I'm probably way off, but you know, once I'm back at the radio, I will just end this because I don't... I think we've seen enough. Oh, what? I didn't... Did my game malfunction? I need to get out of this. Run away and never look back. Just... What? I need to focus on my studies. Yes. They must accept me to college. Irma is calling me. I wonder what she wants this time. Come on, Jenny. Don't be so mean. Your spine is broken and she'll never walk again. Hello? Do you wanna... Irma, do you need anything? She cusses me, calling me names. I'm stupid. I'm a coward. I'm ugly. I'm a freak. I have no friends. I'm the living embodiment of disappointment. I tell Irma she is wrong. She sends me to check my mail. I've been rejected. I've been rejected everywhere. Jenny, you will have to work at the gas station. Irma laughs and I hate her. Is Irma her mother? Is it her sister? I don't know. No, it's her sister. It's her disabled sister. Yeah, she didn't read it out loud because the audio is all whack. Like, it clips at the, the first text, it clipped words. Now it's like, 
I just read what I want to read. You can make me read this whole thing. <laughs> um, is she responsible for Irma's... Is this the whole... Uh, what was it called? Baby... Something. Sweet Baby Jane? Something? No. You know the old movie with Joan Rivers and Betty Davis where they basically nearly killed each other on set. Uh. <laughs> okay, but we didn't... We didn't see this, we didn't find this earlier on. There was no light source at all. Or did I completely go the other way around? And now, now we have this issue of... Oh god. And now it's dark again. So I'm... Uh, getting hit all over the place. I will die in two seconds. Oh, there's, but there's a second... Uh, Homeschooling was fun at first. I didn't have to get up early or endure the bullying from high six. Oh yeah, high six. The most popular girls in school. They made my life hell. And my parents decided I'd be safer at home. And Irma called me a pet rat. You always sit in your room like a rat. When our parents got angry, she told them she loved rats. But she didn't. As the weeks passed, I began to feel like a prisoner. Every day was like another. The only entertainment was art. I painted monsters. As ugly. As my nightmares. Irma called me to help her with the Christmas decorations. Hold the letter, Janie. I zoned out. I was imagining monsters. And I let the letter out of my hands. I can still remember the sound of her spine breaking. Yeah, I figured that. And now it's super dark again. Also, oh, there we go. Um, ah. I was hey, so excited. Hey, hey, no, 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 no. Oh, shit. This, no, this is not good gameplay. This is not how you do it. Because I had to, I was attacked, uh, even though she was reading, that should pause it, any attacks. Um, because now we don't know what happened. I can put a longer lock screen on the text so you can at least read it. Just leave me alone, you stupid. <sighs> okay, but now I'm done. I'm done. So, uh, we get the trauma in the items, which don't... And I was in that same area, which sometimes pop... So... Okay, let's start this review from the perspective. So I think this is a developer who has not been doing a lot of games before. So they're probably just testing the waters. And as such, I really welcome, I like the intro. I think the general idea is quite good. Um, the game idea and the, the story, um, it just, it shows a little that it's a beginner developer in the gameplay um, because it is frustratingly hard but also a little bit buggy and I don't mean the bugs running around biting us there's no way to regain your health which would be a nice feature to add um, there's no way I, th I would keep the I would keep the light lit up items to reread something because once you click out of it again because you're getting attacked you cannot read it again which is not helpful uh, I don't think you need the voiceover as it is because the voiceover is very clipped Either it's AI, like text-to-speech, or it's um, recorded with a microphone that there's these really weird settings for specific microphones. I know this mostly from like headsets, where um, they will, as soon as you make a small pause, they will immediately turn the mic off for some reason and pretend you didn't say anything and then there's a little bit of lag until they pick up the recording again or, or the voice again and maybe that's it but i don't know it sounds like for one of the readings we lost half the text for the other some words 
here and there and or syllables so it's more annoying to listen than it would be to read um, and also the the pacing of the reading is a little bit slow uh, which is fine, you know, uh, I guess the developer did this herself and she's not a professional uh, voiceover artist and you know That's a real it's a it's an it's not just an art. It's a real skill It's something you learn like it's not something and I know I I've, I mean I've heard it all from voiceovers from individual developers So this is not the worst I've ever hear I've ever heard but it just you can always tell if someone's doing it who's also developing the game <laughs> Or if it's an actual if it's experienced voice actor, you know, there's just, I mean, that obviously is a huge difference. Um, but what I love is that this approach here, it's very ambitious, but it also shows a lot of ideas. Uh, it's very creative um, with the monster design and everything. That's super fun, you know, I mean, the different monsters, that's a cool idea. And even with the... I guess she's throwing flares if I go by the picture. I didn't make that connection. I, I thought she literally shoots light out of her hands. Like, um, what's it called? Dragon Ball style. Um, <laughs> I actually would think it would be better if she would light up a flare. And while she lights it up, um, she can walk and escape the, the little um, centipedes. But maybe she has to throw it away to that would be a cool thing because the the eyes shoot at you Even if you're in the dark that doesn't make any sense I think it would make sense if you if you hold the flare you can ward off the small little scuttly things and also the centipedes But once the eyes are in the play you have to throw it away to distract them and they they will shoot the flare That would be a cool gameplay thing where you can play around with it a little bit and it would make more sense um, So there's here and there quite a few things to polish but please keep going with your developing because starting is so difficult. It is such a big thing and it's the, just to make the first step and to put out the game, that's amazing. So I would just keep going but also maybe let friends play it and see how they fare with it without any explanation, you know. Um, just to see how they deal with it. And how they enjoy it and what and and listen to constructive feedback just to build upon it um, Just to work a few kings out and also see you know again voiceover is a nice to have but it's not necessary and especially if it's Done in a way that makes it more difficult to get the text to, to get the full story then rather drop it because this is an indie game um, There's no need to have actual voiceover. You can just have the text but yeah, that's my review so uh, lots of potential here, but not really polished enough for me personally to enjoy this. But then again, I don't enjoy these kind of games in the first place. I clicked on this because I thought the idea of the gas station, I don't even see the gas station, um, was kind of interesting. And I thought it would be more along the lines of that. It would be more like maybe a side scroller or something like that. Uh, and less about running away from uh, monsters and being pretty much unable to do anything about it. But yeah, what do you think? How did you like it? What do you make of the story? We still didn't get to the part with the dark water. Uh, and well, I put, I put the link to the game in the liner notes. Maybe you can try it out and then uh, expand on what the heck is the trauma with the dark water. Because obviously the letter at Christmas or whatever it was is not the dark water trauma. Um, so I guess there's a lot more to unpack with this character and their story. <laughs> But for now, for today, it is all we have. Uh, I hope you somehow enjoyed this. I'm sorry, this was a little bit um, frazzled because I was frazzled by the game a little bit. But also in general, I'm frazzled today. Yeah, if you're new to this channel, <laughs> I play a lot of indie horror games. I try to pick those that look very interesting and I uh, try to enjoy them as much as I can. Um, so if you enjoyed this, you know, feel free to subscribe and I promise you... If I'm a centipede in the dark, you know, I will probably not attack you because I have better things to do in the dark, especially because as a centipede, I would probably look for, well, I guess you're my prey, but are you big? aren't you too big to be my prey? I mean, yeah, I can hurt you, but can I actually eat you? I don't think so. I would probably look for something else, you know, like Subway's or McDonald's maybe. But anyway, subscribe. <laughs> well, I hope you had a good time. I hope you have a wonderful day. And maybe see you next time. Bye.
This is my self-recorded outro song so I don't get hit with copyright claims. If you subscribe, you subscribe to a lot of fun tutorials, reviews and let's plays.